Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Kalen. As you can see, I have the map pulled up because I thought this is the easiest way to explain kind of what we did last time because we um, made, well, like we built a lake, made a lake, I don't know, waterscaped a lake. And then also we started on the like lookout spot type lake situation thing we have planned in the top left corner. That definitely is still a huge work in progress, but you know, we kind of started on it and I think that is... That's pretty good. Um, I think actually today I'd like to continue a bit on the uh, like island flow things. I know we've been doing a few of those, but after this episode, I actually want to do some work on Meliora. I probably won't record, but I definitely have to do some decorating. So I don't want to burn myself out here um, and then not be like creative when it comes to that. Also, you know what? We we also might, instead of like a an island flow thing, we might work a little bit on some cleaning. So I'm just going to go and pluck some of these or well, all of these carrots. And I think the tomatoes as well, because I don't think we're going to be keeping those. Um, pretty sure I don't have a garbage can with me. Wait, also, we said hello to Gala. So there should be like a new. Oh, there is a new outfit for sure. There should also be like a new message bottle. You know what? We'll do one of those good old catching up cleaning shopping episodes. You know, just just doing a, a complete checkup of everything, what's been happening, what's going on. Are there any like cool things that we should purchase? And then maybe we're also going to be doing some uh, some progress stuff. I still want to move T-Bone and I still want to move Gala. So maybe we can do those things as well. Um, OK, it seems like there's not really a top that we need. I'm pretty sure that we've. Have we gotten the sailor one? I might actually get this one. That's cute. Um, we're still not super lucky in the bottoms department, so oh my god, this is like the ultimate like cruise ship sailor outfit. But you know what? I'm all here for it. I'm gonna actually purchase that. Uh nose tissue, anyone? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I mean we can get some socks for maybe for decorating at some point. And uh I don't know if we're maybe going to need some shoes as well. Actually, that is kind of a cute outfit. I think the hat doesn't fit perfectly well, but it's kind of cute. I am going to purchase it, but I'm not going to wear it. We're going to go back to our little flu sweater. I think this is heckin' adorable. I actually really like it. Um, I really think this is cute and something kind of new, you know? Okay, before I go to Nook's Cranny, though, I'm also going to go ahead and pluck the tomatoes and then we can go ahead and sell those. I don't think I'm going to be making like a wheat uh, area either because and then also like I still have some in my storage so we can we can always just get those and then maybe we could see to it that the potatoes and the um, sugar cane are all watered completely so they all hold like three three crops and then move them to the beach. That way we can just kind of pick them up for decorating whenever we need them and they're not like cluttering up the space. I also actually want to kind of move the shrubs. I just saw as I ran past, we've got some shrubs. No, <laughs> we've got some shrubs like right behind the resident services pretty much. I, where is my storage shed? So there is like some shrubs right here behind this cliff that are kind of limiting us. And then there's also a bunch of them just in front of the resident services. And I think that's not... <laughs> Not the best idea, but at the same time, I kind of don't know where to put them right now. Okay, here is our storage. So we're going to go ahead and get a new shovel out. Luckily, we have a few, just like one or two, you know, and then let's go back to the produce. The thing is, I mostly like whenever I clean up and like I move, for example, like uh, shrubs or trees somewhere because those unfortunately can't be put on the beach. I always end up putting them um, in exactly the spot that I'll somehow end up working on next. And I never know. I'm always like, oh yeah, this is a good spot. It'll take me like forever to actually start working on it. And the next thing you know, that is actually the spot that I want to work on. So uh, yeah, that kind of, it's kind of annoying um, because you never really get things like out of your way. But yeah, maybe we can, maybe we can work something out. I don't know if like maybe maybe this this side here is somewhat okay like maybe the bottom left is a good way to store stuff and i mean now that we're getting rid of the crops we might have some room for shrubs and we are going to be moving the villager homes like i want to actually 
I want to move some of them to like the neighborhood section. I just need to think about like which ones to move where, but I guess it can also be kind of random. I know that we planned on doing the neighborhood of four and then my pockets are full, dang it. Um, and then I just th said last time maybe we were gonna do like a neighborhood of three, but maybe we're gonna do like a neighborhood of four and then like two neighborhoods of two each and then two houses like separately, which are Gala by the peninsula and T-Bone by the lake, I think. Maybe that's better. I don't know. That's also just any which way could be totally fine. Like it usually, it's just about making the decision, right? I really like that table, by the way. I think I'm actually going to purchase this one if I can. 3,300. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, that's very good. Usually like I, I don't know, as some, some items are so overpriced that I always expect them to tell me like really obnoxiously high prices. <laughs> okay. And back we are. So um, we still have these here to sell and then the rest of these we're gonna pluck in water and then move. Oh, I for I didn't get my watering can, huh? I think I might I might just purchase like a new one from Nooks then because I can't I don't want to run all the way to the Storage shed again. Dang it. Okay, and then it seems like here. We've got Molly's house. Well Gala for sure Well, she's she's moving like somewhere else and then we do have Hornsby and Daisy. Well, who do we think would be neighbors, right? So there's three villagers here that I still want to move out. And instead, I think that I meant to get Tutu, Alice, and Daly. Um, I actually kind of want to move Tutu and Flurry together in one of those like neighborhoods of two. Because I feel like they'd be like, you know, big sister and little sister almost, right? Because Tutu is like this... This, this big white floof and then Flurry is like a little floof, even though one of them is a bear and the other is a hamster. But I mean, we're talking about like talking animal villagers here. So it's <laughs> really, it doesn't matter, right? So maybe those two can actually move to the lake. That would be somewhat cute, right? I feel like also for some reason I see like Flurry and T-Bone being like best friends as well. And then maybe Flurry can have like a little cafe, like bakery by the by the lake, like somewhere around there. And then, you know, she always kind of meets up with T-Bone and gives him like the freshly baked cakes because he's like, he's kind of grumpy, but you know, he loves, he loves sweet treats and baked treats and she loves baking for people. You know, it really, that's her love language basically. I don't know. Can you tell I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting excited again because of like the, the theme and storyline. I honestly, oh gosh. I also have an island plan. I feel like I shouldn't be as secretive sometimes. Like I think sometimes it can be fun. Oh, I should have got a watering can, dang it. But also sometimes I just want to kind of tell you little snippets of what I've got planned maybe. And apart from like mood boards, I, I will say I don't know which of these islands is actually going to turn into something more serious or if... I just want to focus on maybe like inspo builds and just smaller areas and not having to do like an entire island. Maybe like that's been just kind of overwhelming me as well. You know, the, the fact that every idea that I've had, I've just had to like, in my mind, I've just been like, oh my God, I need to fill an entire island with this. Maybe I need to be a bit more chill about that. Oh my God, Flurry was trying to catch a grasshopper. So yeah, it could, it could be that whatever I tell you now will just end up being like one specific build and it, <sighs> you're really going to make me buy this like pink watering can. Actually, no, it's fine. It's pink and blue and yellow. It's okay. I will get it. <laughs> but yeah, so I really want to make a kid core island. I feel like kid core could be super fun for exactly the burnout type decorating because if you have a kid core island, you can literally get away with anything. You know, like for example, for Meliora, I feel like I've been I've been limiting myself too much. I said this in the previous episode already, so I'm sorry if this is a little repetitive, but um I I think for Meliora it was it was a little bit too much because I was limiting myself to one specific color for each area, but then at some point I was like too far in to change that, you know? And I also wanted everything to have this like meadowy fairy type aesthetic. So it could never be like too kid core. And I think the way that it's turning out is super fun. It's just that the decorating itself can be quite restricting. 
restrictive. I'm not sure. And um, I think Kid Core is exactly the opposite. Obviously, like if you have a specific color scheme or something, that would still kind of somewhat limit you. But you can literally slap anything around anywhere. Like you can put like sunny side up egg coats on the floor and just it's fine because it makes sense for kid core. And I think that would be a really fun thing. So I really want to do a kid core, um, at least like a build or area or part of an island. I'm not sure. Uh, and I think we should probably move T-Bone's house and then we can maximize the, like it, it can be very efficient because then we move T-Bone's house today and then Gala's tomorrow. Yeah, and then on top of wanting to create a Kikor Island, I already talked about the aspect of like the Forever Island last time. Um, so that's really something I want to do so I can kind of have an island that is at some point hopefully going to be complete. I would like to try and have it not be too cluttered either in terms of I don't want it to lag. I just want it to be like a fun island to play on and redecorate every once in a while and then adjust it for like different seasons or different like maybe color changes, you know, those types of things. Okay, let's move T-Bone's house. Um... And also for like the mood board stuff, like I feel like that would be a cool like long term idea of an island, especially who knows how long we're going to actually continue loving and playing this game, you know, and if at some point I actually get to the point of being like, okay, I actually am kind of done. Um, I would like to have and this is this this is, this doesn't mean I'm getting close to that, but it just I would like to have an island that I then consider like done and that I still have because usually I'm. Usually I finish my islands and I just, I eat them. So it'll be a bit, a bit of a challenge as well. And then another island idea that I had, and I've actually played with this for a while. I've already made a mood board and an inspo build for it. Um, like way before I had the idea to turn those into videos. So unfortunately not a video, but I've already made like those inspo things for it is, um, a certain nighttime island that I also think would be really nice to like add a kind of a storyline to it I think so yeah I'm excited for that too okay let's say like we actually put a tree right there right the house I hope I can move this without having to move it somewhere completely different um, but I think I should be able to I'm pretty sure that this can be a tree I don't think I have like a medium or whatever to test it with, but I'm pretty sure this should be able to be a tree. So like then, I guess maybe like this would be the the start of the house. Do we think that's too far to the back if I look at it from my house? One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe a little bit, huh? Maybe we more like do it here? One, two, three, four, and then there can't be like a tree beside it, but maybe that's fine. Because <laughs> you would definitely see it way better then. Okay, maybe this is better. Maybe this is the spot to put it. I'm, I'm gonna try. We can always rearrange it. And I've been like destroying the weeds anyway. Like whenever I build up cliffs, I constantly destroy like tall weeds. So actually I would keep the one, but it's like behind a house. So I don't think I'm gonna actually keep it. I mean, I don't know, but I think this will be a good spot. You know, we can still circle the path like next to it and we can do a little plank path leading to the house. Like I think, I think that'll be okay. So T-Bone will move a little bit further to the front. I was thinking of maybe potentially building up a tiny little cliff here, um, just to kind of where the house currently is. So just so we like bridge this gap between the rock here that might have like a lighthouse or something and then like the rock right here and add like a bit more dimension to the area and also like if you if you look at the area from this point maybe it would be nice to have like a cliff there so <laughs> lots of explaining um yeah we're gonna we're gonna skip to the next day and we're gonna um we're gonna look at that one and maybe make sure to add that cliff and then move Gala, and then maybe move some more houses, and water the crop, you know, the stuff. Doing the stuffs. And here we are. Wait, T-Bone's house has been moved. Oh, I actually think that's really pretty. This is not the correct time of day, I believe. I think it's just, uh, it is a little bit too late right now, but um, I think that would be really cute. I also actually like the fact that we have the same door, like that seems kind of fun to me. 
Uh, I might just give... Hmm, I don't know. I might give him like a different color door or like a different different something. Maybe he should have like a blue house if that's possible. A blue house with a more like light door. <gasps> yes. Oh wait. Let me. Can I hide myself? Hide camera. Oh yeah, it works. Nice. I put a button on my stream deck because I used to really struggle with like clicking and searching the source. Now I have a button and I can just I can just hide myself, which is kind of nice whenever I want to like actually show something. Um, okay, cool. So we've got T-Bone's house moved and... No! Wait! It took me so long to understand what was happening. That was a fly. There was a fly on our turnips. That doesn't happen often and I don't think we've caught a fly before. No, we haven't. Oh, dang it. Usually you only find ants. Dang it. All right, and then usually you have to put out, um, or like they're, they, they're they more likely to spawn on trash as far as I know, but you know. Okay, so T-Bone has moved and I think Gala should be should be moved in now so we can also actually move her. Um, we need to finish the entrance, by the way. We need to finish the campsite. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> Oh, Gala! Oh, her flowers are so cute. Well, hello, Snorty. Let's talk. Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's chow mein, so I gave him a call, Snorty. Aww. I don't like her jacket right now. She usually has, like, a pink dress on, as far as I remember, but, you know. I'm not about to, like, you know, judge someone for their clothing, uh... Like for their attire because I you know clothing is like a very personal and it's I don't judge I don't judge people for that you know it took me a while I feel like I'm still not really there I went through like an entire crisis um, in the last few months of like who am I and what clothing do I like to wear and now I'm just like existing in flannel shirts 24 7 and I've started shopping in the men's section because you know that actually fits my shoulders <laughs> It's fine. It's great. No, for sure though. Like, uh, or like, seriously. Um, you know, why not? Like, who, who, um, who's gonna? How would they know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as you know you feel comfortable and you like stuff that you're wearing, it's totally fine. So whatever Gala wants to wear. Wow, that happened just because I saw that Gala was wearing like a sports jacket. Wow. Okay. Brain be spiraling. Fun. Fun times. Okay, I don't know if I was just talking about... Oh, wait, we were talking about um, island themes, that's right. So yeah, Kid Core, a nighttime island that I feel like could be a really fun, creative type island where we can just kind of also come up with like um, certain area ideas or like a storyline and... Yeah, I don't know. And it'll also allow me to have a few villagers. Actually, I think we found some of those villagers on villager hunts. Um, and I said that I was going to have them on like a different, for a different theme. And I've been thinking about it for a while now. That, so not in front of where I'm standing. Uh, so yeah, I, I hopefully am going to be able to work on one of those soon. Um, I just... Hold on. I can put another piece of fencing here. I think that I should do that before the house is placed because then I can't. I'm actually going to do that. Okay, let me get to some of that fencing because I feel like behind the house, what else am I going to put there, you know? Uh, so it was the vertical board fence in white. There it is. And then I also want to grab um, a bunch of vines because I keep running out of them and that's no fun. Okay, so, I don't know if we should put a code underneath. We probably don't need to behind the house, but maybe we're going to put one underneath here. Like, just still behind the house, but I feel like there is more of a chance you're going to see this than the one next to it. How about some blue flowers? A little flower cluster. Oh my god, that code is beautiful. Uh, I also will actually use this opportunity to spread even more vines because I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I think they should be everywhere. <laughs> it's hard for me to stop. Um, right? So kind of like that. I think that's a good idea. And then we're going to put the house back. No, well, back. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know why this is being so difficult sometimes. That looks much better, yes. Yeah, okay, I don't love her house, even though it kind of potentially fits. I think the roof is just a little bit too dark, and I think I like her door. I believe that she might have to have, like, a wreath on her door or something. We're gonna have to see it together with, like, this entire area, which also still needs to be completed, obviously. Okay, so T-Bone is moved, Gala is in the middle of moving, and then one more thing that we... Oh wait, we need to water the crops before I forget. And then maybe we could establish the little, uh, like, floofy, fl floofy neighborhood um, by the lake of Flurry and Tutu. Obviously we don't have Tutu just yet, so I think I'm gonna move someone else there in her place. And... <laughs> Hello Daisy! What, what are you looking at? Is that a potato? I believe so. Does it seem suspicious to you in any way? Okay. Just gonna make sure to water these. I think watering them two times, like twice, uh, is enough to actually give them all three crops. But I'm also not sure. Is that everything? Yeah, they seem to all- they seem to be sparkling, so just the ones on this side. There you go, there are some water drops for you to inspect, Daisy. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, oh, we can check Able Sisters again. So, and a message bottle. So remember how I said, I, was that this episode or last episode? I've been recording it pretty much in one go, so I don't know. But um, I would like to have, I think, the shopping um, buildings like relatively close to the entrance here. And I was thinking of maybe putting the Nook's Cranny next to resident services. So I think we're gonna switch the kind of neighborhood plan just slightly, probably just shifted a little bit further to the left so that you can kind of see the incline. So the idea is that you're gonna walk, oh, happy or angry? Oh, happy, very good. Um, the idea is for you to kind of walk past resident services. Like there's not gonna be, you can obviously go to the right hand side, but if you go here, it'll just be leading you in front of um, resident services. And you have to walk past Nook's Cranny because even though this is supposed to be a resort and a type for everyone to kind of escape reality and, and, and their stressful life, you know, people still wanna make money, so I guess. <laughs> so you're gonna have to walk past Nook's Cranny and then there will be like a path leading you to the beach, which is gonna be where Abel Sisters is maybe. Or just slightly in front of the beach maybe, I'm not sure, but so you're gonna have to walk in front of Nook's Cranny and then you can kind of circle up like this and then either walk probably across a bridge that's going to be somewhere here or you can also go up the incline that'll lead to the neighborhood so it'll all just be you know adjusted slightly but so long story short because we want to at some point probably build able sisters here i think we're going to use rooney's house to fill in for tutu so rooney and flurry uh for now are going to move close to the lake so we just have to figure out a layout for them so the community garden thing that we were going to do is going to be here and then the cliff that we started building behind resident services will go way further back. So the farm will kind of be nestled in. Um, if you've seen my 14 day island challenge and you've seen my farm, fallen farm themed island Hokkaido, kind of like the farm there, only it won't be on like a floating island, but it'll kind of be nestled into cliffs and then the pathway will lead you once around the lake but also towards the left hand here and then i want to have room for like a cafe which also would be really oh that would be so cute if the cafe is like literally here by the lake and then that would be next to flurry's house so then maybe flurry's house could be like right here next to the lake one two three four like that the path can lead like behind her house i feel like that works uh two three and four, so this is Flurry's house with her cafe right in front, like to the front right. And then Tutu's house, I want them to be like pretty close together. I was just thinking about whether there should be, I should possibly put a tree between them or if they should be as close together as possible. Could this be a tree? I think so. So technically the house is like three tiles, but then there is one line where the like the front door and the front porch, or like the little step is, and the little sign that says their name. 
And then I don't think you can put anything in the tiles just before that. So like this should be a tree, but then that also means that we were only able to place the house probably, probably not like this, probably not overlapping, but maybe like this. One, two, three, four. So kind of like that. That would put this tree partially in front of Flurry's house though. I don't know. I don't know if that works. I think I'm gonna actually put a tree here and then we're gonna time travel. We're gonna get, wow, yeah, because that covers a lot. We're gonna time travel and we're gonna get um, Gala to be moved so that we can then move on to moving Flurry's house. And I think that'll hopefully make it a bit easier. I'm also kind of tempted to move Flurry's house further back but I think we can't really move it much further because we still want to have a little pathway sneaking through here, which I also think we should check our codes and see that we can actually make that like a small path and not be too, okay, I don't want it to take up too much space, you know? That is quite a decent amount of room for the farm too. We'll, we'll see how all of that works out, but you know, the path would kind of be leading past Tutu's house and then however we continue it. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> I haven't thought that far. Okay, we are gonna, uh, wait, we're gonna check Able Sisters. Oh my God. All right, let's check Able Sisters as promised and then we'll go and get Gala's house moved. All right, let's see what they have to offer today. I'm hoping for some good like bottoms and skirts. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, well, the energetic sweater is kind of cute, but probably not. I don't like any of these. I kind of maybe like the satin pants. So I'm gonna get those. I might actually also get them in pink. Of course we need a crown. Uh, yeah, the other things, I might get the patterned stockings because I quite like them. And then I also think I'm gonna get a pair of house slippers in, maybe in blue. Okay, let's purchase this, but not wear it. And then I will just go back and also get the pink pants because I feel like those are also kind of cute, you know? Okay, perfect. Thank you for the uh, amazing items. And then let's skip to the next day. Okay, T-Bone and Gala are now moved, which are, <laughs> they're almost in the same line. And they also have kind of similar houses. Do they? Well, I mean, kind of, maybe. I'll see, but it's so cute seeing like T-Bone walk around on the beach. I love that. <laughs> That makes me happy. I think that was a good a good decision. Also, Gala is home and I want to definitely see her house. Oh. I have so many questions. What the absolute heck? Wait, this almost kind of looks kind of like Raymond's house, I feel like. What are you making? A chic tulip crown? Okay, I will uh I will take that, sure. But like, okay, Gala, you look so cute with the flowers and then you have this interior, Nintendo, why? That just doesn't even make sense to me. That's so weird. Okay, we are gonna get Flurry's house next. Um, and then I also wanna check on, hello, Leaf. Ate's doing some workout. Everyone's busy. Well, they're not actually doing anything. <laughs> And then I want to check for my, yeah, the crops have grown. Okay, let's move the crops as well because, uh, you know, we can keep them, but we can move them on to the beach, which will, I think, make everything a bit easier going forward. And then maybe at some point we can also move the um, shrubs here because technically if we move Flurry away from the beach, maybe we could put like Molly's house to the beach or something because I feel like we're not going to have to worry about the... It's, it's very far left, if I remember right. I think so. Is Flurry's the last house or the second to last? The last house. See, I don't think we're going to worry about that beach for a, a long time. So we might just put Flurry's house. Um, no, sorry. Molly's house there for now. And, uh, you know, have this bottom left corner to, I don't know, arrange our shrubs, I think. <laughs> Speaking of, hello Molly, I'm kind of blocking uh, your house off, I apologize for that. She's also walking around with a watering can. I don't know if she was meant to actually water the crops or not. Okay, our pockets seem to be full. Um, 
I think just towards the bottom or like towards the front here is totally fine. Today might also be a new recipe on the beach, right? We also still have to learn the tulip crown, of course. There we go. Not sure we're gonna, ever going to use that, but I don't think it hurts to know how it works, right? Okay, those are planted. Just five more to go. And then we have to get Flurry's kit. I, so many things to consider every day. Also, we can check Able Sisters again. Maybe we're going to be more lucky with um, finding like a cute skirt. Although I will say, I've like really grown to like this outfit. I really have. I, at first, I thought the jean skirt thingy wasn't the perfect choice. <gasps> nice. I mean, we did get some DIYs from a treasure island, but not that many. And we've we've gotten 200 in total, I think. Or have we gotten a lot? I don't know. I don't remember how much I got from treasure islands on this. On this, I think I did the essential shopping, where I probably got like a decent amount of let's let's plays. No, um, DIYs. I think it's like still considered okay-ish, right? Oh, I see another crown being offered today. Of course. I mean, of course. All right, cardigan shirt combo. I don't really see my character wearing that, but it's, you know, technically in the colors. Not really a fan of any of this. Um, pretty sure I do have, I do have the do-rag. Um, I might purchase it though. I think it's kind of cute. Not sure if I do actually have it, so uh, better better be safe than sorry, right? So we're gonna get this, but we're not gonna wear it once again. Okay, let's briefly try and check the beach for recipes, because I'm um, the 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 one that I already had that I still have in my pockets. I believe that was yesterday. I believe that we actually um, we did time travel since then, but. <laughs> The days are blending into each other. Oh my god, wait, wasn't it the freaking same spot yesterday as well? It's a cooking recipe this time. Okay, I will take it. Uh, cherry jelly, which we already know. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, well, next stop, resident services. And please, I would like to request uh, Fleury's pot. Because, you know, she needs to move to the lake to open up her, her dream cafe. I actually really do like that idea. I hope that you do as well, but I was thinking like, you know, baked goods. We're gonna do a cutesy cafe. That might work out. Okay, Flurry, there we go. And next stop is Flurry's plot by the lake. There we go, tree looks good. Uh, now I just hope that this is in fact enough space for it. Actually, oh, I think it is, I think it is. It just, I think I want it to be a tiny bit closer to the lake here. Yeah, more like that. Okay, let me imagine this. We can still move the tree around. I just wanna, I just wanna see. Yeah, I think this is okay. I Again, I wish there was a function where we could like put it down and then enter somewhat of like a, an alternate reality or like dream world where we could just briefly like walk around. That is really cute though. And then here is like the cafe, you know? And then maybe Tutu has her, whatever her hobby is, partially behind her house. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she takes care of the garden as well, you know? Um, I know that that was something we were kind of thinking about as well, but the, with the neighborhood over here. Um, and then also looking at those houses kind of makes me think that maybe we should have another cliff somewhere. That allows us to take pictures. Just picture cliffs everywhere. We're just gonna do random bits of cliff so that you can take like decent pictures. Okay, and on to the next day um, it is, which will actually bring us to the 11th of April, so no more pink trees, uh, which I'm actually kind of sad about. Imagine that. Oh my god, and a rainy day too. Gosh, this is... Wait, let me see the entrance. I mean, it still works. It still works. It just doesn't bring, I think it doesn't quite bring the um, idea across as much. Like it doesn't quite create such a like cutesy romantic feel for it, I think. Okay, before we pick up um, Rooney's plot, I think it was, uh, let me check out what Flurry's house. <gasps> oh, I do like it. I do like the fact that you can kind of already see it from here. And then obviously the cafe will be kind of here and you walk past it or you can walk around like behind it too. I actually don't mind the tree either. Like, I don't know, we obviously don't have her picture just yet because initially I wanted to, 
I wanted to find those for myself. But like I could even imagine if you tilt the camera down and you have like a little um a little like wooden stool with the picture there, you can still see it maybe. So like actually maybe that's that's a good tree to have there. Right. Okay, so we're going to pick up uh we're going to pick up Rooney's Rooney's plot and um well, Rooney's house looks completely wrong, but we're, we're still going to be able to see how the two houses kind of play together. And I will say that I'm definitely thinking about giving um, Fleury like a different house shape as well, because I usually I'm not the biggest fan of the um, of the like circle, like round houses. All right, Rooney, it is time to move. Wait, where are you? Wait. Wh wait, what? <laughs> is he like sick or something? Hold on, I'm so confused. Why does that not work? He's still on our island. Wait, did I just not see him? Hold on. Oh, look at the little flower buds though. That's cute. Okay, Rooney, what's up? What's happening? I've never talked to him. I talked to him while he was fishing and he turned around to talk to me because we have never talked to him. <gasps> you take care now. No, you take care. <laughs> oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, yeah, th I'm sorry. Oopsie. I did actually have someone comment. <laughs> Just made me think of that. I did have someone comment that I treat my villagers like unfairly. And the villagers that I like, I constantly like talk to and swoon over. And then the ones that I don't like, I kind of ignore. Which like, yeah, but I mean, isn't that the... Isn't that what having favorite villagers is like? You know, like I don't really see the point. I didn't, I didn't notice, I didn't realize I was actually being that rude though, because Rooney has been here for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I think also if you never talk to them, I don't think they ever move out. So I'm glad we did that now. Now, obviously, I'm aware of the fact that if we move Rooney next to Flurry, that we're gonna have to potentially like replace those houses if we find someone um like when Rooney wants to move out and we find someone that is not tutu of course but I don't I don't mind that that's totally fine for me um I just sometimes you know I like to just put houses there and have it have it be done okay I already do have the snail I was just wondering okay Rooney let's see okay maybe a little bit further back okay yeah more like this let me imagine it again I'd like to walk around but we're not gonna be able to <laughs> I mean, the house is not pretty, you know, that's the problem, but it's, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I think that if we have the right houses and like we place some more trees around it and pathing and, you yeah, know, that could be, that could be really pretty. And then we have like Flurry and uh, Tutu kind of living together. Plus the T-bone somewhat ish. <laughs> All right, one more, or well, we do, we have to do two more days of time traveling because now Rooney needs to move, be moved and then I want to move Molly to the beach. So let's get started on that. I'll, wait, before we get started on that though, hold on. I want to check Able Sisters again. I kind of doubt there will be anything cute today, but I mean, if you never try, right? Yeah, not really super happy with this. Definitely don't like the rubber half apron. No, no. <laughs> I don't think I like any of this either. Nope. Nobody nope. Nope new nobody nope. Mm -mm. Okay, let's uh let's go and actually time travel to the next day. I will say for some reason having like that weird shaped uh lake and then the houses kind of just like around it already kind of makes it feel like a resort, right? It kind of feels calm in a way. <laughs> Which I guess was exactly the point, so that's good. Um, Gala is out and about in her cutesy dress. You know, no one could ever believe that she has such a weird interior. And then I think we're gonna check Abel's right at the start. Oh, and also message bottle. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I love when stuff works out like that. I love, I love convenient and efficient uh, gameplay, I guess <laughs> you can probably call it. Okay, peach wall. I already know it. Great. Yeah, because I know a lot of wallpapers, you know. It does seem to be the game's, like, favorite thing to give out after all, so... Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, wait, those goggles just re reminded me of another island idea I have. 
I'm really, okay, I'm really glad that I I had a bit of a, I don't know, rough start to the day is probably wrong. I just kind of, sometimes I struggle to actually like get, like get ready for like videos and, oh, do we like the floral lace skirt? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like it takes me a long time because I procrastinate like taking a shower and then doing my makeup and, ooh, I like the socks. Um... And so like it can take me quite a while and I was just, I, then I was like oh my god I don't know if like I actually feel inspired to do anything today you know like I don't know this this burnout is like real and then I don't know I'm really glad that I'm I'm recording this today because I'm it, it's making me realize that that's not the case like I still have ideas and I still want to carry them out I think it's just this current like just Meliora and then the fact that you know I only have this one like just Meliora to kind of play on because like for the other two islands I always have to wait for like a special occasion you know for this island that's like recording and for recording I need to like actually get ready which is you know um and then the other island I I work on together with my friends so like I don't always work on it myself either and um I feel like that's kind of holding me back a little bit but you know it's making me realize that like I still I still have ideas because that other island I just that idea is still pretty fresh in my head um but I'm so excited about it oh my gosh no way I'll, like I have no idea if the way that I have imagined it can even be carried out also at the same time I don't know like others might have already done it so it might not be like super like creative or not super like unique but that's it's fine, right? Like, I mean, the cottage core has been done in so many different ways and it's always fun to look at. So yeah, I just really need to get Meliora done. I just really need to work on it. So uh, you all better wish me luck that later today, like after recording, I'll have to have some food. Um, and then I need to get productive or creative or whatever. Okay, so Molly's house will just be towards the back here. Um, it's not gonna stay there, obviously. I just... <laughs> I just need to get it out of the out of the way pretty much. Um I think it was kind of here, correct? Okay, a little bit further back. Yeah, so kind of like this. All right, let me I mean, do we need to imagine? Let's imagine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's not supposed to stay here, you know. All right, there we have it. I do have a lot of vines with me, which I could spread around here, but I feel like that, those cliffs are gonna change um, a lot more. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. So we have moved uh, quite a few people today. Obviously, uh, Flurry and um, Future Tutu live here on the left side of the lake. T Bone, we've moved to the right side of the lake, and then. Um, we did actually move Gala into place by the peninsula because I thought it would be like a cute spot to add a bit of a flower. Um, I don't know if farm or garden, I don't know if the definition like matters because like, you know, you, you kind of see the flowers here now, but we can put something on the beach here, which is nice because then we can actually use this part for something. And then we can also, you know, use like this part for it. I think this is, this is a good idea. Plus, like, obviously, we can put something on this part as well. And then I feel like, you know, her friendly demeanor, even though apparently she's just out for the money, <laughs> are really nice to have by the entrance. All right. We have made some decent progress today, even though we actually didn't, um, like, in today's episode, I don't think we did any landscaping um, or, like, waterscaping. high flurry. But, you know, we moved a bunch of houses. We cleared a bunch of space for... Uh, future like cleanups for storing shrubs. Obviously the house in the very bottom left is Molly so that one will be uh, where the plot is marked uh, on the beach. So we've got a lot of room there to store some shrubs in the future and um, yeah a lot of other stuff is already set in motion. I have to think about where I want to put the museum. That's I think the one thing I'm kind of unsure about. Everything else I think has somewhat of a place um, or like a tendency like I've I think I'm going to move it to this specific spot, but yeah, we'll, we'll see about the museum. I'm not quite sure. Um, Gala is launching some butterflies. Very cute. All right, let's go to our lake lookout. Rooney is also walking around here. Delightful. I think this might be the same position as last episode. Oh my god, the view is not clear today. Anyway, 
<laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions about the different themes in the comments. Of course, which one of the ones that I mentioned did like spark spark your interest or, or, you know, spoke to you, let me know down in the comments below. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any fun Animal Crossing or other cozy game stuff in the future. And then um, thank you all so much for watching today. And um, I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.